Thank you, Caseify, for sponsoring this day in life. Good morning guys! Guess what we're finally doing today? The first day in life vlog of the school year and this time with the iPhone 14 Pro. If you're new here, welcome welcome! I'm Fenson and I study computer engineering in Canada and I'm also a mini tech content creator. You'll definitely want to watch all the way to the end because today's schedule is hectic but it'll definitely be fun. We're going to put this phone through its paces today with how it feels during usage, the battery life, I'm going to talk about some of the new features, do some photography and definitely shoot some video. I actually bought this iPhone to be my secondary camera, especially for vlogging, so I'm going to be shooting like 75% of the footage on this iPhone today. And fun fact, you're looking at the iPhone camera footage right now. But uh, anyways, it's going to be a long day, so uh, get cozy, and let's get started with the morning. So, one of the best features that Apple has introduced with their latest iOS 16 update is the addition of haptics in your keyboard. Everyone has been trying to get Apple to do that for ages, and now that it's here, it feels amazing as it makes the keyboard really crisp and tactile to type on, which is pretty unsurprising though because iPhones have always been known to have top tier haptics. And also, speaking more about the phone itself, I think a 6.1 inch screen on the iPhone is the perfect choice as it strikes a good balance between how much real estate you're getting on the phone and how comfortable it actually is to hold in your hands. But that is not to say though, the Pro does have those stainless steel edges and it's really dense so it does feel quite heavy in the hand and that's something I still do have to get used to. But anyways, I got quite a bit of work to do before I head out for school so uh, I'm gonna go do that right now and I'll see you guys soon. Alright, I just finished typing out some scripts for my next YouTube video, replying to some emails, and also updating my resume for the career fair that I have later today. But uh, it's almost class time and I'm running late so we better get going. And also, shout out to Cinco for sending over these little iPhone microphones for me to use in my day in life and improve the vocal quality. So uh, I will be using that for the rest of the video and thanks again Cinco!
All right, uh, I tried running all the way to school, but I'm gonna be late if I do that. So uh, luckily, there's a bus stop pretty close to my house, so I can take the bus down to campus. Although I will be like 10 minutes late, but hey, late is better than not showing up at all. Starting off our day, we have electric circuits as our first lecture of the morning. And in today's lesson, we're learning about the theory behind inductors and capacitors and how they work. Having a 3x optical zoom lens in your pocket does really come in handy when you can't see the board. And for our second lecture this morning, we have a course called Digital Systems, which talks about the implementation and design procedures for digital logic systems. And for today's lesson, it looks like we're learning about multi-level synthesis using Carnot maps. Hey, I finally finished my morning classes for the day, which means I get to take a break now, but uh, it's actually freezing outside right now because it's like five degrees and it's about to start pouring rain, which absolutely sucks. But uh, usually I'd go for lunch by now, but because I'm on my internship next year in which I actually get to go to a tech company and work there for 16 months, there's actually a career fair right now where like 85 plus like employers are coming to the school. So uh, I'm gonna go into the career fair and then, you know, go find somewhere to work for next year. And for the event, the dress code is actually business casual, which meant that I had to hide in a bathroom and put on a dress shirt and dress pant, and also a tie that I've never put on before. But as the saying goes, third time's the charm. Hey there, it's Fenton Swin here to tell you more about the sponsor of this video, Casetify, while he's in there searching for internships. If you don't know what Casetify is, they're a phone case brand known for the huge range of phone case designs which you can scroll for hours and hours on their website. To show some of them off to you, I have a personalized clear case with my channel name on it, a purple clear case with MagSafe magnets, some interesting print designs out of the hundreds you can find, and brand new this year, Casetify's bounce case with this crazy rugged look. Now, here's the best part about these cases, durability. Impact cases are rated for up to 8.2 feet of draw protection, Impact Ultra cases are rated for 11 and a half feet, and the new Bounce cases are rated for an insane 21.3 feet. Let me show you guys what I mean so you guys know that I'm not capping. Let's put on Casetify screen protector and lens cover first. All right, let's begin this drop test. Okay. 
Well, looks like my phone survived. Not a single crack or scratch anywhere on the screen or on the case itself. Look at that, beautiful. And now it's time to show off these cool cases of this little strap. And if you're convinced and interested in these cases now, go save yourself 15% by using my link in the description down below. All right, back to you, Fenson. All right, we finally made it into the engineering career fair, and I think there's about 85 employees who came today. This is one of the two gyms that they completely filled up. And it was honestly pretty great walking around and learning about the new companies, and also asking questions to the representatives. And as I walked around, I took notes of internships specifically for computer and software engineering, and I found a couple that I quite liked. I also learned that Qualcomm was hosting a big event later this afternoon. Here's my list of some of the companies I've talked to and the ones I'm sort of interested in applying to. And unfortunately, my iPhone battery died by this time. And now it was time for a group meeting with half of us in person and half of us online. We worked on a term project proposal for this big software development course we had in which we planned to make a calorie counting app that outputted nutritional values from pictures with computer vision. Oh yeah, and something really cool about this lab is that it's filled with gaming PCs from Alienware. Wow, the afternoon went by so incredibly fast. But I'm um, sorry I wasn't able to film a lot for you guys because I don't think I was allowed to film in the career fair and there's a lot of people as well. But uh, hey, I found some good internships that I'll be scrambling to send out my resumes and cover letters for. I also did my group project, my group proposal for one of our coding assignments, which went out pretty well because we banged that out really quickly. And also, I had to skip all my afternoon classes just to attend like two and a half hour long Quackom info session. But uh, hey, that was pretty cool. But now it's like eight o'clock now, so it's time to head home because I got a lot of work to do. Also, I just realized that I forgot to update you guys about the iPhone battery life for the entire day. I was just so busy that I completely forgot. But uh, yeah, basically because I used the phone as a camera for basically the entire day, the battery ran out pretty quickly at around three o'clock. And yeah, it sucked because I wasn't able to use my actual camera that I brought with me today because it was basically raining for the entire day. Oh sucks. All right, I just got my food from Metro because I'm really, really hungry and I haven't had anything since breakfast because I had no time for lunch today. But uh, yeah, I know I usually cook like a big meal in my day in life vlogs, but I'm just way too busy today and I still have a lot of work to do. So uh, this is a lot faster. And I didn't know if I wanted a salad or the chicken breast dinner, but um, after taking the salad, I realized that I was still gonna be hungry afterwards. So I just picked something that was more filling. But anyways, let's go home and get some work done. Also, Apple introduced like this new flash module that's supposed to make skin tone a lot 
lot better. So here's how it looks in the video, and uh, hopefully it dramatically improves my entire video because, like, without the light, it's really great. And by the way, this is how I've been carrying my three bags of gear with me this entire day. And I had to even carry this during the career fair with my dress shirt, my tie, and my dress pants on. So uh, yeah, pretty heavy. And finally, it's time to eat. You have no idea how hungry I am, man. Like my stomach is literally hurting from hunger. But uh, let me enjoy this now. Cheers. Ah. Mm. And that, my friend, is the driest chicken breast of all time. Not to mention, I forgot to ask for a knife, so uh, I'm stuck trying to cut that with the fork. Yikes. Alright, I just finished eating dinner, so I feel slightly more energized and I'm not starving anymore. But we do have quite a bit of work, so we gotta get started on that. I think I have quite a bit of videos and TikToks to edit because they have deadlines, I need to handle them before they're due, and I also need to edit this day in life vlog as well. And if you're wondering why I'm in the lobby, it's because it's very peaceful and quiet in here, there are no distractions, which definitely makes me more productive as well, so yeah. Also, I just realized I forgot to talk about literally the most standout feature of the iPhone 14 Pro, which is that dynamic island right over there. Honestly, when Apple announced it, it was really cool, and I think it's still pretty cool right now. Like, I definitely prefer it over a notch, as I think the dynamic island does make the phone look more modern, and it's also very useful as well. When you're playing music in the background and you swipe it away, it shows up over there, which gives you pretty easy access to change your music, which is nice. Having a timer always remaining in your status bar is also super useful, especially when I'm doing stuff like cooking. The only thing that I don't like sometimes is how the dynamic island cuts into YouTube videos, especially when they're in the 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It's basically like a notch again, so yeah. And before I forget, like I always do, shout out to all the awesome peeps on Twitter who said hi to us in this video. We got Spixel, he's a great friend of mine, and he makes absolutely amazing content, so go check him out. So is Meili from MTG. We got RJ the absolute goat, Johannes from Tech PhD, which I will tell you about in just a second, and everyone else. Awesome. Alright, talking more about Johannes from Tech PhD, he's actually one of my bestest friends on YouTube, and honestly one of the most hardworking people I've ever met in my life. And he's been through a lot this year. So earlier this year, he was actually in Ukraine studying medical school to become a doctor until the war and everything broke out. So he actually had to flee across Ukraine to Poland and all the way back to his home country, Nigeria. And he only did that just a few days before his university and his apartment and everything got bombed. So uh, that was terrible. And because of everything that happened, he's unable to get his medical certificate to uh, start his residency, which is absolutely unfair. But for now, he's been absolutely killing it with his content and short form content as well so I'm gonna drop his socials down below and please 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 check him out and go support him because he deserves every bit of it and more
All right, all my devices were running on a battery, so I had to come back up to my apartment. And it's like 2.40 in the morning right now, so I'm starving again. So uh, let's go make a quick little snack before we jump right back into editing. This is my first time eating instant noodles in like, I don't know, a couple months. And uh, I've been absolutely craving these cold Korean noodles. So uh, let's go make some. Also, my nice roommate got me some Japanese black coffee, and uh, I definitely need some caffeine, so uh, let's try it out. All right, first time reaction to Japanese black coffee. Tastes like watered down coffee. All right, we're finally back in my room and I just airdropped all of my iPhone vlog footage into my SSD today. And wow, we took 288 videos today, which is pretty insane. But uh, hey, using the iPhone actually saves a lot of storage because when I use my camera to shoot my vlogs, I end up taking like hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes. And finally, to end the night, I basically almost finished putting together my TikTok video for my Dell unboxing. All I need to do is sync it to some music and submit it. All right, and that's basically the end of my day in the life vlog with the iPhone 14 Pro. It's definitely been a pretty exhausting day and it's like 4.30 in the morning right now. And I also have class at 8.30 in the morning, so uh, I better get some sleep or else I'm gonna seriously die tomorrow. But uh, yeah, basically this phone has been pretty solid throughout the day. I have no major complaints other than the battery life being significantly worse than the iPhone 13 Pro from last year. Like basically in comparison, uh, I would get around nine to 10 hours of screen on time with the iPhone 13 Pro. While this year without using the camera all day, I'm only getting between five to six hours, which is a little disappointing, but it also might have to do with the iOS 16 update. So maybe Apple can fix that in the future. And also I'm sorry if I didn't go very in depth about the experience or the features of the phone, because honestly, today was just a really busy day and I kind of just forgot about it. But anyways, if you stayed all the way to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this vlog, definitely go smash that like and subscribe button so you won't miss out on more in the future. And on that note, good night and I'll see you guys in the next one.